Okay, so good day everyone. We have here the topic arithmetic mean for your math one mathematics in the modern world subject. Okay, so this is the arithmetic mean for the measures of central tendency. This is chapter four, page 102. Okay, so arithmetic mean is simply the N numbers is the sum of the numbers divided by N, okay? So the mean of the N numbers is the sum of the numbers divided by N. Say, for example, for BSME1, you have here your top five average score of GCT students for the prelim examination, okay? So this is the top five. So we have 84, 87, 94, 95, and 98, okay? So, the mean is we simply add 84 plus 87 plus 94 plus 95 plus 98, okay? The sum of the numbers divided by N. So, your N is 5 since we have 5 data, okay? So, 5 uh, prelim examination. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So, 5. So the sum divided by 5 and your answer is 91.6, okay? So that is the mean or the arithmetic mean for BSME top 5 for the average score in the prelim examination, okay? So solving for the BSIT, so we have BSIT is simply equal to uh, 80 plus 84. 80 plus 84 is 164 plus uh, 87 plus 96 plus 98. So we have 445 divided by 5. Divided by 5 and we have 89. Okay. So the mean of the BSIT student is the sum of 80, 4, 84, 87, 96, 98 is 445 divided by 5, and that will be 89. Okay, the next, we have BSBA. So BSBA, BSBA1 is the sum of 82, 83, 88, 94, and 96. Okay, so 82 plus 83 plus 88 plus 94 plus 96 and that will be 443 and divided by 5 and your answer is 88.6 so 88.6 that is the arithmetic mean of BSBA for their top 5 average score in the Mat 1 prelim examinations. Okay. The next we have the BS HM. Okay. So BS uh, BS HM. Okay. So BS uh, BS HM we have the arithmetic mean of the top five average is 80 plus. Okay. So the sum 80 plus 84 plus 86 plus 95 plus 96 and we have 441 divided by 5 and with that will be okay so divided by 5 that will be 88.2 okay so that is the arithmetic mean of the top 5 average score of bshm students now we have here Find the mean of each course and the overall mean of GCT Mat 1 students, okay? So the overall, overall mean is the overall mean, the overall mean of N numbers of mean is the sum of the mean numbers N divided by N. So meaning we sum all the means of these uh, courses and then divided by the number of means. So the overall mean the overall mean, overall mean is equal to the sum of all means 
Okay? So, 91.6 plus 89 plus, okay, plus 88.6 plus 88.2 and we have we have divided by divided by 4 okay so divided by 4 so we have the overall mean is overall mean of the DCT students uh, top 5 average score is 91.6 plus 89 plus 88.6 plus 82.2 and that will be 357.4 divided by 4 and your answer is 357.4 divided by 4 and your answer is 89.35 okay so that is the overall mean of students of all the courses of the DCT students so top uh top five average for the overall mean is 89.35 okay so i hope you understand the discussion through this video and God bless us all. So to continue our discussion, we have here another topic for your Math 1, Mathematics in the Modern World. This is Chapter 4, which is the Measures of Central Tendency. Okay, so our topic for today is Median. Okay, so median, the median of a rank list of n numbers is A, the middle number if n is odd, and B, the mean of the two middle numbers if n is even. Okay, so example, find the median of the following data. Okay, so letter A, we have uh, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is rank list number. So we have, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That will be uh, 6 data. So the mean or the median is the mean of the two middle numbers. Okay. So therefore, we have the median is computed as median will be the sum of the two middle numbers that will be 6 plus 7 divided by 2 and that will be 6 plus 7 is 13 13 divided by 2 and that will be 6.5 okay so that is the median for uh, the date data in letter a so 3 5 6 7 8 9 so that is 6 so, meaning n is even. So, the middle or the mean of the middle numbers is the median. So, 6 plus 7 divided by 2, that will be 6.5. Okay? For letter B. So, we have, let's count. Let's count the number of data. So, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 6. So, therefore, the median is the middle Two numbers, uh, the mean is two middle numbers. The middle numbers are 16 and 18. So we have 16 plus 18 divided by 2. So we have 16 plus 18 and that will be 34 divided by 2. Divided by 2 and that will be 17. Okay. So the median for letter B is 17. Okay. For letter C. So the median for letter C. 
Let's see, ha? Let's count the number of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, the median is the middle number since the data is an add number of data. So, therefore, the middle number is 27. That will be our median. Okay? For letter D, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, meaning the median is the mean of the two middle numbers. So, the middle number, two middle number is 92 and 95. So, meaning 92 plus 95 divided by 2. And our answer is, so we have 92 plus 95 is 187. So, 187 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 93.5. So, 93.5. Okay. So, that is our median. For letter E, we have our median will be, median will be, okay. So, let's count the number of data. So, 92, 94, 94, and 100. That is 4. So, meaning the median is the two middle numbers. The mean of the two middle numbers. So, we have 94 plus 94 divided by 2 and our answer will be 94 okay so that is for the median okay so i hope you understand the discussion through this video and god bless us Okay, so next we have your, your mode. Okay, so this is your uh, Math 1, Chapter 4 for the topic Measures of Central Tendency. Okay, so the mode of a list numbers. Okay, so the mode of a list numbers is the number that occurs most frequently. Okay, so take note the number that occurs most frequently okay so let's answer letter a so letter a we have 21 23 22 22 23 23 then 22 and 24 so meaning we have for 22 we have how many data so we have one two three so three data for 23 we have also how many data one two three so three so meaning therefore uh, the mode the mode of a list a are 22 and 23 okay so 22 and 23 okay so this is your answer okay so 22 and 20 okay so take note no okay so take note some numbers do not have mode okay so number one some list of numbers okay so some list of numbers do not have mode okay do not Then, number two, number two is some list of numbers, okay, so number two, some numerical data, some list of numerical data, data can have Two or more mode. Okay, two or more mode. Okay, so that is the principle in this. Uh, uh, okay, so that will be the principle. Okay, so for letter B, we have 21. So 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So the mode. 
letter B, or list B, have no mode. Okay? So there is no mode for let list uh, data in letter B. Okay? List B have no mode. Okay? Then letter C, let's count the data. 30, 30, 30. So 30 is 3. 31 is 1, 2, 3. And 32 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So meaning your mode in letter C. The mode for a list of data in letter C is 32. Okay, so that is your answer. For letter D, so we have 23, 54, 32, 45, 66, 86, 68, and 96. So list, list C have no move or has no move. Okay, so that is your uh, answer. Okay, so take note some list of some list of numbers do not have mode and some list of numerical data can have two or more mode okay so i hope you understand the discussion through this video and god bless as all next is your assignment number nine okay so thank you for watching